looked like a dinosaur, but it wasn't a dinosaur. Hi, I'm Caitlin, one of the youth librarians at Skokie Library, and joining me today is... Desi! In case you're not familiar with that reference, this is a piece of art made by... Haven! Inspired by the wonderful book, It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. If you haven't read it, we recommend it. By now, you've probably guessed that today we are going to talk about... Clouds! We've been seeing some beautiful sky pictures here in Skokie, and it got us thinking, what are clouds anyway? To answer that question, we have to start with another concept, the water cycle. The water cycle is what happens to water as it moves all over Earth in different states. Solid. Like ice. Liquid. Like oceans, lakes, and rain. And gas. Also known as water vapor. Which turns into clouds. So... Basically, clouds are made when the sun evaporates water? Well, there's a bit more to it than that. The evaporated water travels through the atmosphere as a gas until it hits colder air, where it turns into water droplets. The water droplets bind with dust particles and form clouds. Does that make sense? It does. But you know what I always say. Umbrellas are not toys. Yes. And the best way to learn a new concept is through a catchy song. If you sing a catchy song, you'll never get it wrong. Bursting clouds cause a commotion, dropping snow and rain in motion, filling up your lakes and oceans, that's precipitation. Sun shines down on ponds and grasses, changing water into gases, also known as vapor, floating up and forming masses, that's evaporation. Vapor traveling up towards space, Forms water in cold air's embrace. Ooh, very poetic. Thank you. The end result is cloudy days. That is condensation. That brings us to our experiment. I love looking at clouds so much that I thought it would be fun to bring one inside. Are we making a cloud in a jar? We are making a cloud in the jar. For this experiment, you will need a glass jar, some warm water, some ice, a tray, and a grown-up because you are also going to need a match. As an alternative, if you don't want to use a match, you can also try this experiment with hairspray. We tried it both ways, and they both worked, but I think the results we got from the match were a little more showy. Test it out for yourself and see what results work best for you. Add a bunch of ice to your tray and keep it handy. You'll want to be quick with the tray placement. Fill your jar about two inches or two to three fingers full with water and swirl it around so the jar heats up a little. This will help with the glass getting foggy. You can't see it, but that warm water is already evaporating. Also known as vaporizing, ask your grown-up to light a match, then quickly drop it into the jar. Before the smoke can escape, quickly place the ice tray on top of the bottle. The evaporating water is going to condense around the particles from the smoke. Now comes the really cool part. Keep your eye on the bottle. You should start to see some misty wisps as the vapor connects with the smoke particles. Yes, just like the song says. The warm water rises, then cools off when it gets close to the ice. As it cools, it forms tiny drops. That is condensation. Whoa! The drops connect with the smoke particles, and when there's enough, it starts to form a wispy little cloud. Aww, little baby cloud. Yeah! When you're ready, you can set your cloud free. Cool. Thanks for sweeping away the clouds with us today, Junior Nephologists. We will see you next time. Until then, keep your head in the clouds. (laughs) 